Hello everyone, back to you today's first video, doing Joe May Friday for today's first video. As always, on a Friday, we're going to have a detailed look at the web from up here with Japanese and CFS V2 models. So this will take us into the second half uh, of April. Been quite a cold spring so far. We'll see if there's any sign, any sign of spring, actually, any sign of a pickup in the weather in um, the month here. Just say that later on today, uh, we're going to have our ENSO update. That'll be coming up around four or five o'clock this afternoon. So that's going to have uh, a look at what's happening in terms of the extra Pacific Ocean, in terms of La Nina, El Nino, and uh, all of that kind of thing. Haven't done one of those since uh, January. We should have done one at the end of February, but it was put on ice, literally, by the beasts from the east. So um, that's our first uh, look at Enso for a couple of months. That's coming up this afternoon. And then this evening, we've got the delayed uh, Easter update. So that'll be with you um, around 7 o'clock this evening on the Easter updates page. We'll see what's going to happen, what may happen. Uh, for Easter, but kicking us all off uh, with today's updates is Jamay Friday. So we're going to have a look at the 500 bill of our height nobly flow charts. Start off with from the Japanese uh, model, and then we'll have a look at the corresponding charts from the CFS V2. So with these charts, blue is extrapolating to low pressure and yellow, orange and red extrapolates to high pressure. We're starting off with a pole view down. So that's the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just there. The middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere uh, is around there. British Isles is um, just there. So for the week ahead, these broke down into week periods. So the week ahead, taking us to the 23rd of March through to the 30th, buys uh, quite a deep area of below average heights over and to the east, northeast of the UK, with above average heights out in the central part of the Atlantic Ocean. And it means that we're doing something uh, rather like that with the flow uh, and with the jet stream. So we placed on the cold side of the jet stream. We're probably pulling down cold air from the north, possibly even uh, from the northeast. So it looks pretty wintry that um, for the week ahead. Certainly colder than average, and you expect in this unsettled pattern the risk of some wintry precipitation at times too. Then we go through to week two. Takes us from the 30th of March through to the 6th of April. So we go through to the second month of of, uh, spring 2018 with above average heights through the Atlantic and extending up to the north and then we've got below average heights over to the east of the UK with the uh, flow and with the jet stream we still remain in that sort of pattern so it still looks pretty cold there and unsettled as we're going into the first week uh, or so of April. This covers the Easter period, of course. I say the third Easter update will be with you tonight. Um, and uh, that looks pretty cold, pretty unsettled. So uh, it looks like below average temperatures, cold and average conditions, and maybe with some wintry weather will continue into April uh, on today's update of JMA Friday. Of course, we'll see what CFSV2 has to say about that in a moment. And then we go through to weeks three and four. Now, if you're waiting for spring, if you're waiting to get some warmth going, um, this doesn't look all that good, really. We still have, uh, albeit a weaker signal, but we still have a signal for above average heights to be around Greenland and Iceland, with below average heights still there to the east of the country. And whilst this is a weaker signal, because it's a two-weekly anomaly, Overall, it looks like the JMA is set on keeping the winds in, at the very least, from a sort of northwesterly or even northerly type direction as we're going through uh, deeper into April. So, I mean, it is a weaker signal. It might be that week three is still showing that cold and settled pattern, and then week four, perhaps which is further into April, sort of reverts to something a little bit uh, milder and more spring-like. But that's just speculative. And on the basis of what this is showing for this two-week anomaly, it does look as though the JMA is keeping things pretty cool uh, this week and unsettled, maybe even cold and unsettled, well into uh, April. Let's confirm that by having a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies that go with those heights. So now we're looking at the equatorial and sort of tropical and mid-latitude view. The British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on this uh, view. We can't see the North Pole. That's off the chart 
uh, up here. But uh, we just had a look at the North Pole, so we know what's going on up there uh, from the pole view down with the last charts we was just looking at. So a reminder of that uh, week uh, one, 500 mm of our height on the area below average heights over and to the east of the UK as well. And then we've got the above average heights there through the central Atlantic, which means we do something like that with the flow and with the jet stream as well. So temperature anomalies from this pattern, you'll not be surprised to see that in the week ahead, the 23rd to 30th of March, we're coming out colder than average in the week ahead. And precipitation anomalies are close to, or maybe a little bit drier than average. So not overly unsettled in the week ahead, um, but uh, certainly quite cold. The temperature's coming out below average. And then we go through to uh, week two, which is the 30th of March, through to the 6th of April, when we have that area of below average heights over and to the east southeast of the country above average heights out to the northwest and we're pulling wind in from uh, the north or possibly even from the northeast through this early uh, part of april so temperature anomalies they're still coming out substantially colder than average here um it's actually a colder week compared to average compared to uh week one so the next couple of weeks if the jma is right we really are in some quite cold weather indeed for the time of the year precipitation anomalies again it's not overly unsettled but it's a little bit more unsettled actually through uh week two particularly so for the south and the east of the country where we're coming out a little bit wetter than average actually with the precipitation and that tells us with temperature anomalies so cold there could well be some wintry weather in with that sleet and snow it's not to be ruled out there i don't think through the end of march and the start of april and then we go through to uh weeks three and four taking us from the sixth through to the 20th of april and uh, overall, we still keep that seeing. We can't see Iceland, but we know there is a weak area of above average heights up there for this two weekly anomaly, with below average heights still over to the east of the country. So, at the very least, it looks like we're still bringing in the wind from more of a northwesterly direction. So, therefore, temperatures remain suppressed. We aren't as cold in this two weekly anomaly as we are. In weeks one and two but nevertheless weeks three and four are still coming out colder than average from the 6th to the 20th of april and then finally precipitation i suppose the saving grace about all of this is not overly unsettled so precipitation in this two week period is again coming out uh, drier than average so not too wet but the temperatures are looking a bit worrying really if you wanted to uh, get on with spring if, you want to, uh, if you're a grower or a farmer and you want to get on with spring, this does all look rather concerning what the JMA is doing here because while it's not overly wet, at least the ground should have an opportunity to dry out a bit through the course of uh, the next month. It does look as though temperatures remain very much on the uh, disappointing side. That's the JMA. Let's see what the CFS V2 is showing. So again, these are 500 millibar heights broken down into weekly periods. The first week period takes us from the 23rd through to the 29th of March. Above average heights out in the central part of the Atlantic and then below average heights over to the east of the country means we're doing something like that The flow and with the jet stream, not quite the cool or cold setup that we have from the JMA for uh, week one, but nevertheless, quite chilly, quite unsettled. The air certainly coming from a northerly source around that tr uh, trough. So, um, quite cool, quite unsettled to start us off. And then we go through to uh, week two, which is the 30th of March through to the 5th of April, covering Easter period, of course. Below average heights almost centred over the top of the country. Above average heights still to our north and northwest. Um, have got quite a big ridge extending into the southeast of Europe. That's going to bring some warm air out of North Africa into eastern and southeastern parts of Europe through this early part of April um, for them. So spring, uh, even early summer conditions getting going in the southeast of Europe. But for us, um, we're just pulling in this cool to cold air from the northwest around this off of low pressure and it's very unsettled as well there uh through to uh week two again maybe not quite as uh, uh quite co quite as cold a setup as we have with the jma um in week two have a look at temperature anomalies in a moment but uh looks more unsettled and a little bit less cold uh if anything
Now we go through to uh, week three, which is the 6th through to the 12th of April. And this area of above average heights to our south is actually starting to extend a little bit and build. We still have a blocking signal around Greenland and Iceland. We've got low pressure coming through here. It looks like the jet stream should be trying to start to lift northwards a little bit. So I wouldn't get overly excited, but we might be starting to bring a little bit of spring warmth into the south there. Uh, through that second week of April. Although overall probably still quite cool and quite unsettled. But this does look quite a bit better. This is the 13th to the 19th of April. Where that area of above average heights is extending through central parts of Europe now. With low pressure out to the northwest and also up to the northeast. And this blocking signal is going more over towards the Canadian side of the Arctic. So I think we should now be starting to lift the jet stream further north and we should, that should be spring commencing uh, really through the middle part of April. So the JMA wants to keep this cold unsettled sort of pattern, although not overly wet pattern, but certainly cold pattern going through into the middle part of April at least. The CFS is suggesting that through April we should start to raise the heights to the south and probably start to lift up the temperature as well. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead are coming out colder than average for most of uh, Europe and the UK included. And then week two temperature anomalies are also coming out colder than average. Week three temperature anomalies are still a little bit cooler than average, but less so than in the first couple of weeks. And then week four temperature anomalies, look at this, we finally get a little bit of warmer than average uh, anomalies appearing. So it is beginning to warm up there um, through the course of April. So by the middle of April, signs of spring with the CFSB2. Remember, the JMA is not showing this, so, so the two models are split about that. Uh, and then finally, precipitation with CFSB2. So uh, the coming week is wetter than average in the north and west, near normal uh, elsewhere. Week 2 precipitation, 30th of March to the 5th of April, covering Easter. That is coming out wetter than average through pretty much all parts of the country. So it's not a particularly good signal with either model uh, for Easter. Uh, then week 3 precipitation is close to average as the signal is uh, weakening and week four precipitation is also close to average. I suspect by week four, as those heights are building to our south and east and the winds pulling up from the south to southwest, we will probably be drier than average. And that looks really quite pleasant, I think, by the time you get through to the middle of April, we are into proper spring weather. The JMA does not agree on that, so they're a bit split. Um, and I think it's just a case of watch your space. Certainly you can say the next couple of weeks, and it covers Easter, is likely to be quite cold and unsettled. So not very good outlook in the immediate future. As we get further into April, there's a split. The JMA wants to keep it cold into the middle of April. CFS says no, we're going to get on with spring. By the time we get through to the middle of April. Uh, for the spring forecast that we issued at Gazov is our analogues were pointing to... Um, spring sort of getting going in April, a, a better month compared to the blocked conditions that we always expected in March. So let's just wait and see. It's all very indeterminate when spring is going to start to spring into life. Um, but uh, if the CFS is right, then hopefully by the middle of the month, we might be seeing some signs of spring uh, but do bear in mind, the JMA at the moment is uh, not showing that. So uh, we'll have to see what they're showing next week. These long-range models are highly experimental and not to be relied upon. Um, so they could show something completely different next week. We'll have a look again on Friday next week. Uh, coming up later today, we've got our ENSO update. I mean, tonight we've got the third Easter update. So keep coming back for all of the updates. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.